So the warm ups is the first part. The warm up is something you do ahead of time, like before you jump into recording. Um, and this is where uh, I'm going to sound like a lunatic because I have to do all sorts of weird noises to demonstrate this to you. So this is always good fun. I sometimes have to do this on live broadcasts, uh, but I'm going to make you do it as well so that you mm, uh, don't sound like idiots together. <laughs> <laughs> so with the face, what, what parts of the face <laughs> do you think are involved in uh, in speaking? What Ooh. parts do we have to worry about? Definitely lips. Yep. Definitely lips. That makes sense. Sure. Um, yeah. Well, actually, do we count tongue inside yeah. your mouth? Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, jaw. Jaw. Yeah. If you're moving your jaw up and down. Yeah. Um, and then I That's guess it's it. like, I don't know. It's almost like your whole, like even your eyebrows move a bit when you speak, yeah. you know? Yep. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So there's different things you can get for all of them. So lips are interesting up front. So a big thing to do is to loosen up your lips first. This is a, this is kind of the minimum I do because I find when I'm speaking, if I'm tripping over my words, it's because I feel my lips aren't moving fast enough. And almost that's a big part of enunciating your words as well. Like, uh, so uh, what you can do is you do your vowels. So if you do a Ah, as the A, so ah, and that's kind of a big wide, wide noise. Your mouth gets really wide. You're going ah, and then you go to what order is it? I'm going to forget my order of my vowels here. E, so E is more like a wide mouth. E, so as big, uh, and E is wide. E, and then O is little, <laughs> stretching your lips out forward. O, <laughs> oh. and then <laughs> is even further that way. <laughs> e, I, O, U, uh, and I missed out either, didn't I? <laughs> It's really just the kind of, you've got uh, big for A, wide for E, and the U. That really covers all the shapes. You've got big, wide, and kind of sticking out your lips. Yeah, so, I can actually, I can feel, I can feel yeah, the stretch. And, yeah. I can feel them stretch. That's, yeah. So before I record, the minimum I tend to do, actually there's one other one I do, but we'll come to them. But the, one of the minimum ones I do is always that. I always go, ayo, ayo, and it kind of moves your mouth around. And it starts to bring in your jaw as well. Um, so that's one. So that's kind of loosening up your your lips and stuff. You mentioned tongue there. Tongue is the one. It's like uh, we're good because uh, we're Scottish, so we can uh, roll our r's very well. Uh, other people struggle with this, but that's a good one to do. Just to go rrr, rrr, and you hear that a lot. It's funny. A lot of these you kind of people will know because they'll have seen them in movies and stuff. Like people kind of piss take in being an actor or an actress. Like people doing these. So the tongue one's quite good as well. I don't do that very often, actually. I don't find that's a problem for me, but I think yeah. it works for some people. Um, jaw, the next one, is a funny one because I find sometimes when I'm speaking, um, you can almost feel like your your jaw is quite stiff as well, like right at the back. So sometimes it's good just to yeah. ah, stretch like that ah. <laughs> and just feel like that's kind of loosening up your face a bit as well. <laughs> I know, I know this is good. Becca's going to have fun with the uh, clips here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So so we've got all the shapes there. You've got the E-O-I-O-U in the lips. You've got the tongue like curling all over the place. Uh, and then you've got the jaw just stretching it out. And all of that kind of comes into, you mentioned it as well, like whole face. Um, all of it comes into, I think it kind of ties in at the end. If you want to do the full thing, just actually really exaggerated speech, <laughs> <laughs> which makes you sound so like a e right idiot. Everything you say. <laughs> everything <laughs> you exaggerate. <laughs> the size and sound of your mouth <laughs> okay and that can be a little short exercise you can do all of that in just like you know 60 seconds 120 yeah. like one or two minutes um and that actually i so i do the lips one like i say i, I usually miss the tongue one maybe do a couple of quick jaw flexes before yeah. i record um Worth noting, if I'm doing something on stage and I know that like there's no retakes here, <laughs> there's, this is all live, I do quite a lot of this. Like I'll do five or ten minutes of this beforehand. Right. Um, and you'll often see, you you can feel like this is exaggeration. You can feel like it's over the top, but you, you often see people in the green room or, um, you know, if somebody's done a lot of it, you'll often see them spending like 10, 15 minutes doing this kind of stuff beforehand. Yeah. So it does happen. It's not just for kind of um, theoretical. So that's the face. That means your face is all loose. You're like mm -hmm. 
Who is it? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey with his loose face <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel the difference there? Like any of that at all? Yeah, particularly in the jaw, actually. And then the lips actually felt the, the, the stretching as I was doing it. It's quite, yeah, it's quite bizarre. I think certainly next episode I do, I'll try and go through all of those things. Try it out. Yeah, we'll see what difference it makes. <laughs> cool. Yeah, perfect. Okay, voice. So voice is more about, um, well, actually, no, I won't put voice. I've, I've written voice in my notes here, but it's more, this is more articulation. So it's like okay. getting your words right, being able to pronounce things very articulately enunciation so that people can actually understand the words and i think this is the one you said in your notes like you feel like you kind of flub words together yeah <laughs> <laughs> i never realized i did it as well until i heard myself back so it's not you, oh, it's nothing like <laughs> editing to make you feel like an idiot from yeah. a, a vocal point of view um but it's 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 difficult because when you're talking to your pals, you kind of just go for it. You're just speaking. You're just you are. You're speaking fast because you're excited, and you end up doing that on a podcast as well. So it's almost like I mean, there. Well, we'll come to that in the enunciation part. I'll talk about that next. But um, you do have to slow yourself down sometimes. Yeah. But uh, articulation. A lot of that is around tongue twisters. So this is when those kind of those tongue twisters come in that you often see people do, and it sounds silly. Again, it's a wee kind of game you might play with your kids but it makes a big difference just doing a few of them and picking out some of the the um the right kind of uh, sounds so peter piper is always a good one get your mm -hmm. in peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers uh, <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know if i know all the words to that peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers <laughs> that's the way <laughs> yeah. so you do that five six seven times try and do it fast okay and then you've got the the lists are quite often hard so you've got red leather yellow leather red yellow i see i can't remember, right? <laughs> red leather yellow leather red leather yellow leather <laughs> okay red leather um, yellow leather red leather yellow leather wow that was hard yeah it is that, that was, was a bit scottish thing <laughs> red lorry as well red lorry with yellow lorry <laughs> That brings in the R's. Um, and one that does a few actually is the one you often hear it's kind of stereotypical one is uh, a proper cup of a proper cup of coffee from a proper copper copper coffee pot. <laughs> a, a proper cup of coffee from a proper copper copper coffee. <laughs> Quality content. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it slow first. A proper <laughs> cup of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot. <laughs> and then you try and speed it up a wee bit. Proper um, cup of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot. That's the one. Ah, yeah, first time. First time. Um, I totally didn't practice before. <laughs> yeah. And there's I exactly. And there's uh, there's tons of these around. Like you can look up um, tongue twisters for vocal warm ups. Vocal warm up tongue twister on Google, or we'll we'll put some in the uh, in the description for the video too. Um, but there's loads of these around. For, so pick like three, four, five of them that cover different sounds from P's to T's to L's to standard kind of vowel sounds generally and um, and even outside of that too. And that can help a big, um, a lot. Uh, something I used to do, I'll add in, <laughs> it's maybe not applicable to, to all people, but I used to read a lot of Dr. Seuss to my uh, to my kids. Uh, and there was, there was one called, um, now what was the name of the book? Was it was it at Fox and Socks? I think it was. And that has just tongue twisters all the way through. And they're so much fun. I used to really enjoy them. And there was the Tweetle Beetles one, which I read like dozens of times. And it had all of the sounds in it. So I used to actually just read the Tweetle Beetle battle. It's like when Tweetle, twin, Tweetle Beetles battle and a, with a puddle and a poodle and a poodle in a bottle and a puddle in a muddle. And there's all this kind of stuff. And you're like going on for it. It's good fun. So it's like, it's almost a little, it's a little warm up, but it's actually quite good fun at the same time. So, um, so yeah, that's one too. Okay. Um, and final part of the warm up side of things uh, is just actually your whole body. Like there's, I mean, can, does it make sense to you that? if you are tense in your body, mm -hmm. that kind of affects your voice. Mm -hmm. Yep. It kind of, like if you're, if you're hunched over, there's, there's something around your posture as well. There's a big part of it around your posture. Like if you're all hunched over, your diaphragm can't move half as freely. You've not got as much space in your lungs. But even if you just sit up in your chair, uh, better posture suddenly it opens everything up it opens up your vocal cords your throat all that kind of stuff um, and it maybe even just has an effect on your mood 
you're more upbeat, you're more um, excited. And I think, so I sometimes, um, certainly if I'm going on stage, I will kind of do a little, I'll, I'll make sure I'm not sitting down and then just stand up and walk on stage. I'll be walking around a bit. I'll, um, I'll be kind of moving my arms around. I'll just loosen up my body a bit. And I do know some people that have like proper kind of set routines that they go through for this. Right. So again, you could probably look up um, little kind of just um, simple warm ups. You're not warming up for a run here, but you know, just like a little, you know, wave your arms around, uh, yeah, do a little uh, run on a spot or, you know, just walk up and down a little bit. I think that can make a big difference. Um, and have you tried yet uh, recording uh, standing up? <clears throat> so the first time I ever did anything live, yep. I did it standing up. So I did a webinar um, about podcasting for business, I think it was. Yes. And I did it standing up. I used your standing desk that we have in the office and it was fantastic. It was mm. so much better. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it makes a big difference. It's weird, actually, isn't it? Because it's, I think it's all of those things I mentioned. So, posture, standing yeah. up, posture generally is always better, opens you right up. It puts more energy in you because you're not just like sitting there like, slouching back. <laughs> so, you're just a bit more energized. Um, and yeah, I think all of that combines to make you generally sound a little bit more upbeat and a bit more, a bit more motivation into your voice. So, I think they all make a difference. So that there's that's all the warm up. That's all the stuff you would do beforehand. I would suggest. Okay. So that's that's to- a really good toolkit, really, to actually work through, and cool. just maybe maybe just try a few things and see what works and how, what difference it makes. Or even just actually try and record some stuff. Just not not even to publish. Just so I can kind of see the difference and figure out, you know, what can I do in two or three minutes before I record. That's gonna. It's going to actually well make me feel like I'm making a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, perfect. Yeah, I think that's the key, isn't it? Like every when it comes to something to do with your body, something to do with your mood, your mind, all that kind of stuff. Everything's quite personal, so you'll find things that work for you, things that don't. But there's that's a, a big range of stuff. And like I said, I do not go through all of this every single time for your average recording. I did absolutely nothing today because I've just come off a call with somebody else. Um, so, but generally. If I do nothing else, I'll do the the lips, just move my lips around, my mouth around. In fact, you've probably seen me do that on calls with you on the yeah. camera. Sometimes I get on the call and then I start doing it. <laughs> <laughs> look, look like I'm going crazy. Um, uh, and I'll do nothing. that and the hum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and that and the hum, that, that does the job. So yeah, that's, that's a week in a toolkit for, for warming up. 